Well, Arik Abrizalazi there wearing 301, talking about his recent world record run over 10,000 metres in Oslo. Well, this second heat, 10 laps to go, and being led at the moment, Ramala and Kirui. In third place is Takaroko, and then Zituna of Morocco, and then Haile Gabri Selassie behind him. Chimisata is there as well. So is uh, number 289, Ray of Spain. And Gabri Selassie, we've talked, or you heard him talk there about his world record. He is an accomplished athlete, but he suffered, Brendan, in the 10,000 metres in the Olympic Games in Atlanta last year and didn't go for the five. These hard tracks affected him more than anyone else. Well, I went down to the track side after he'd run that 10,000 metres where he won the gold medal in Atlanta to have a word with him. And he, he was so tired from the race that Paul Turgot had given him that he couldn't speak. And I said to him, can I, can I just stay a minute and talk a bit and wait a little and then talk? He took his shoes off and his feet were absolutely cut to ribbons. They, were, they weren't just blizz, they were just chunks of his feet completely torn apart. And his uh, ambition was to match his team, his, his teammate Mirachifta, who'd won the double in the Moscow Olympics, and that was his driving ambition. He said he first listened to Mirachifta's race on, on, a, on a radio, and he wanted to follow what Mirachifta did, but he just had absolutely no chance of doing that, Stuart, because his feet were just cut to ribbons. He couldn't even run for a couple of days after that, and he went off and, uh, and couldn't train for about a week, probably. Well, the lead at the moment being shared between uh, Dominic Karui of Kenya, and uh, Ramala of South Africa, just coming into shot now. There's Karui, he's taken back over again. The tall figure of the Japanese, uh, Takuoka, in uh, third place. That's a lap runner, incidentally. And Mass is there as well, the Dutchman. Chimasasa is there. Chimasasa from Zimbabwe, he was 13th in the Olympic final. There's Ray, on the right of your shot, the Spaniard. And the Italian coming into the frame, uh, Stefano Baldini, for the first time in this race. But certainly, uh, Ayla Gabrisolassi just sitting there, comfortable, uh, with his teammate Jaffa. And uh, really, this is a bad qualification for him. Well, they're coming up with eight to go in the 10,000 metres. Dominic Karui is leading ahead of Ramala, the South African record holder. And in the years to come, I think the South Africans will distinguish themselves at the, at the 10,000 metres. Last year, they had a winner gold medal in the marathon that was the first ever black to win a gold medal in the Olympic Games but this Ramala is a very very good athlete Dominic Karui is the third string Kenyan so it just shows you how powerful they are but we all know about that but I think in the future the South, South Africans will be as good and then Chimasasa in third place Takaoka on the inside and then Ray just behind them and Boldini the Italian and then Marsa of Holland 1940 for 7,000 meters so this is faster than the other one and it's going to be very close to 28 minutes for 10,000 meters unless they get clear and can slow down in the later stages but the qualification of the first eight and then the four fastest losers means the incentive for people in this heat is just to keep going at the same pace run faster than 28 20 and then there's qualification available for that time and this whole group is on schedule to run faster than 28 20. Masasa wearing 1229. We mentioned him. Got the silver medal in the Commonwealth Games over 10,000 meters in Victoria in 1994. Seven laps to go. But Ramala has been at the helm of this uh, race for some time now. Didn't advance beyond the heats of the Olympic Games, so clearly wanting to do better here. And he's, as Brendan was saying, he is a very good athlete. Got the 27 36 30 time to his credit this season. Just sitting in behind Karui. And he's in third place now, is uh, Chimasasa. Fourth place is uh, Takawoka of Japan. And then the Moroccan, the Tuna. The Tuna, 27-36 uh, this season. Moroccan cross-country champion. He's uh, 35th in the World Cross-Country Championship. So he's got a good background on which to put this uh, track form together. And behind him is Julio Rey, the Spaniard. He was ninth in the World Cross Country and the uh, Spanish 10,000 metre champion, as one would expect. So he's the Spanish number one. Massa's dropped down a little bit behind Baldini, the Italian. I was just looking down the field and just watching Gebri Selassie, the world record holder for 10,000 metres. And when I look at him from here, he's, he's in about eighth place. There he is, Gebri Selassie. And he looks as, literally looks as though he's jogging. 
And I was just trying to work it out, but the reason he looks as though he's jogging at this pace is because he's actually running about five seconds per lap slower today than he did than he did when he broke the world record for 10,000 meters. And that's the diff. That's an awful lot of distance in the 10,000 meters. And you look at him; he literally looks as though he's out for an early morning run, just not even striding completely, just jogging along, just doing enough to stay there, aware of what's going on around him. He's the one thing he can't afford to do is trip up with somebody. So he's, <laughs> as I said, that he just pushed Poldini, let him do the tripping up. But uh, Gabriel Selassie, a great athlete, going to be one of the all-time greats, if not already in that way. Olympic and world champion, world record holder. More medals to win, and it was good that they managed to persuade him to come here because he threatened not to run the 10,000 metres here. He wants to have a go for the world record, world record for 5,000 metres. There he's using uh, traffic signals in this race just to tell everybody what he's up to. And they're just striding out a little. Looks magnificent, holds himself, his carriage extremely well. But he's the first distance runner that's had all the equipment. His immense strength, fantastic over the distance. But then when it comes to a sprint finish, and then he can match almost anybody. 25 seconds for the last 200 meters. And this is the distance runner that all the world admires. Haile Gebri Selassie of Ethiopia. Well, the point you were making about uh, the speed at which he ran when he ran that uh, world record, he ran 25, the equivalent of 25 consecutive 63.6 second 400 meters. So. I tell you, that is very special. Karui leads. Ray in second place. Ramala in third place. Zituna of Morocco tucked in on the inside, sharing third place at the moment. Takawaka on the inside, inside uh, Chimasasa. Then uh, Gabri Selassi. The second of the Ethiopians, Jifar, behind him. And the eight coming from this. A group. And Kirui looks very comfortable. 23.38.97 at 8.4. Uh, four. four laps to go. And it's beginning to stretch out a little bit now. And uh, Gabri Selassie in sixth place. The two Ethiopians now beginning to make their way up. And Chimathasa has latched on to uh, Jifar. But certainly Ray not uh, taking any risks in second place behind the Kenyan. Karui. Comfortable, setting in, and look at Gabri Selassie now. There he is, moved into third place, now the world record holder, the second of the Ethiopians, Jifar. He was, in the, was second in the World Junior Championships over 5,000 metres just a couple of seasons ago, so he's another young uh, Ethiopian coming through. And look at Gabri Selassie having a look Kirui, Ray, Gabri Selassie, Jeffa, and all of a sudden, Darren Wilson of Australia breaks to the fore. Brendan. Darren Wilson of Australia there, 24.46 with three laps to go, and really they just need to keep a consistent pace now, and all this whole group could qualify. But Darren Wilson run a very good half marathon recently and has decided that he's going to try and split the group apart. And he's managing to do that, but just behind him, well, I bet he's proud of the fact that he's running ahead of um, Gabri Selassie, going down the back straight, just approaching the 9,000 meter mark. Gabri Selassie just behind him, just not having done anything at all. 25.17 for 9,000 meters, which means that they're well on schedule for 28 minutes, which means they would all qualify at this pace. And that would be a good performance by Darren Wilson. He's only got just over two laps to go, and I'm sure he can do that. And this whole group then would be qualifiers both on, on first first eight of them automatically and then the fast the fastest losers would certainly come from this group they only have to run faster than 28 20 to qualify wilson then outstanding junior didn't make the breakthrough and as a senior until late in 1996. he's the leader gabri Selassie in second place jaffa in third place ray in fourth and then behind him is the tuna of morocco The lead now stretching. Mass is still there, and so is Karui. I think that's Chimasasa. I'll just double-check that in a moment. I'll check them when we get a close-up shot of them. But Gabri Selassie, just having a little word as he goes past, the world record holder, now looks so comfortable at this pace. 
it's almost embarrassingly slow for him. Yeah, I was just thinking about that, Gabriel Selassie actually does look better when he's going a little bit faster. And this lap, that last lap was 63 seconds, and that's the world record pace, but he's only done one lap at that world record pace tonight. But he does look smoother. He does look much more comfortable with that faster pace. Uh, there he is looking at, looking at the score, looking at the screen ahead of him, so you can see exactly what's going on around him. 26.56 with one lap to go, and Gabriel Selassie just stretching out, giving his legs a little bit of a workout. The final of the men's 10,000 meters on Wednesday, so they've got 72 hours to recover. And uh, the two Ethiopians, and then Darren Wilson of Australia and the Moroccan Zituna. Well, they're all safely qualified. They don't have to worry about it. Dominic Karui coming along there. Maas and Ray and that lot are well qualified. Both the seven of them there. And then we're looking further down the field for the next qualifier, which is Boldini. I think Ramallah's just ahead of him, Brendan, but uh, the Italian just behind Ramallah, the South African who did much of the early leading. But here goes Gabri Selassie. Gabri Selassie bringing it home for a simple qualification. Jifar in second place. And here comes uh, Zituna in third. Karui moving through into third now. Zituna in fourth. Then uh, Wilson in fifth. Mass in sixth. Mass is uh, in coming through now I think he's in seventh and there's Ramala in eight the one missed there was the I think it was the Hungarian but we'll check on that when we come to the result but uh, there's Chimasasa finishing but no doubt about uh, the success of Haile Gabriel Selassie the Ethiopian total and utter control in that qualification in that second heat of the 10,000 meters this is Nchamba of Angola the American Brad Barquist of the United States. Brendan, comment about uh, the performance of Gabriel Selassie? Well, I, I wouldn't bet against him. I think he was exceptionally easy tonight. And uh, if you were a betting man, which I am, you might have a few quid on him to win the 10,000 meter final.